Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me the new Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Plus and in this video I will show you different tips and tricks for using Samsung Notes. So I will open the Samsung Notes and here you have all your tools available on top so you can uh, write here with your S Pen and you can make your notes. Okay, the first tip is related to bringing uh, information from different sources into your Samsung Notes. So I use the edge panel, I take out the edge panel tray and then I uh, take out the uh, internet browser, okay, and then I can just drag it in the split screen mode okay and here I search different images on Google so for example I search electrocardiogram so there are different uh, images so for example you like some image and you want to insert into your notes so just uh, select the image so I open this image and I want to bring it to my Samsung notes I just hold it and then I simply drag it into my notes like that okay so you can see over here and here I can resize it okay uh, and I can change its position and I can also label it okay so for example if I want to label I can label it as well the second uh, tip is related to uh, bringing information uh, like text from uh, Google into your notes so I again open the edge panel I open the internet browser I bring it into split screen mode here so you can see there are three different apps open and all of them are working perfectly fine so for example I open uh, this website okay and I like uh, this text and I want to bring it into my notes I just highlight it like that and I just simply uh, just hold it and uh, drag it into my notes like this and here you can see it is uh, uh, into my notes so you can see uh, I can just uh, change its color okay because it's in the dark color with the dark background so I change the color okay so let's see I can make a yellow color any color so for example I like this color and I put it like this so you can see uh, I bring uh, image okay and then I bring the text as well okay and uh, then if you want you can edit this text uh, again okay the next step is related to uh, making your favorite app combination so for example this is my Samsung notes and uh, here I have uh, different other apps open and you want to make uh, this all three apps your favorite apps combination so you can do it as well you just go over here these uh, three dots over here just select it and you will see this plus uh, sign icon just select it so now what you can do is just open uh, your edge panel okay and your favorite apps combination is over here okay so for example I close this okay and I just open this edge panel I just select uh, this uh, app combination okay so once I select it it will open in front of me I can open my notes my apps are over here uh, the next step is related to making a rotation in different apps you can also do it again uh, these three dots okay you can see you can just rotate them okay so you can see over here you can change their position as well okay so you can see over here and you can also resize them for example you want to make this bigger and like that okay like this one okay or like that okay the next step is related to the categorization so basically uh, you can make uh, your notes in your folders and subfolders so for example uh, you can make uh, your notes according to your subject so for example here I create different uh, subjects in the folder so for example this is spring okay and then I create in the spring I create different folders according to my subjects for example this AI biotechnology microbiology so you can create different folders all you have to do is go over here this manage folder option just selected okay and then in the last you will see create folder option and here you can create uh, any folder okay you can give it any name okay give it any color okay and then press done and add okay so your folder will be created and in this folder you can create your subfolder as well just select this folder and again you see this option of create subfolder just select it again you can give it any name okay so for example bio2 and then add okay so it will create it under this folder so you can create different folders and subfolder it will be really helpful you can create your notes in uh, according to your subjects 
the next step is related to the tools of uh, the Samsung Note. So here we have all the tools available. The first tool is related to pens. So you you can see there are different pens option uh, with different thickness, okay, and different uh, type of uh, uh, colors option also available. So you can see over here I select this pen, and then here I, uh, you can write here, okay, you can see, okay. The pen is really smooth uh, with the uh, 2.8 uh, millisecond uh, latency rate so it gives you paper like feeling very smooth feeling okay and then you can select any color uh, if you want uh, there are different color combination available so you can see over here okay uh, so you can make your different charts okay according to your subjects okay with different colors option okay so you can see okay the next thing is uh, is the highlighter so highlighter tool also there are different highlighter tools okay so for example like this one okay so you can highlight okay so you can see over here with different colors again okay so for example like this color so there are different colors option available with different opacity and different thickness option so you can change the opacity as well for example like this one so you can see this, this that's the opacity so you can change this as well the next uh, tool is the eraser tool so you have stroke eraser area eraser so for example i select the area eraser which is quite big so i can use this one as well and uh, then we have the uh, selection mode we have the lasso and the rectangle so you can select any uh, uh, any type of selection area so for example like this one so you can see over here you can select any part of your notes and you can uh, move them around okay the next tool is the handwriting to text tool which is uh, really really amazing so you can select this tool and whatever you write okay uh, it will change into the text okay so for example i try to uh, write something okay so you will see over here i select it okay so i select this one and i write okay so you can see over here it converted into the text okay okay so you can see it detect my handwriting and it convert into the text so this is really really helpful for students for making their notes more useful and more productive okay the next tool is also the handwriting to text tool okay so for example uh, i will show you how does it work so i will write something over here okay uh, i will erase okay uh, i will write okay and then i select this handwriting to text tool convert to text so you can see it detect my handwriting and it give me the text if it is correct so i convert it and then you can see it converted into the text okay and then uh, this tool uh, you can see it's called the change style tool so basically you can change the style okay so for example i want to change the color of this text so I want to make it uh, like this purple I press done okay and then I just uh, just select it like this and it will change okay so for example I will make it like this color okay and then uh, I want to okay then I will change it so you can see you can change it by using this tool and then the next tool is the easy writing pad so basically it gives you a certain area in which you can write okay so you can see and then you can see it will align uh, your handwriting and it will be really useful uh, the next tool is really important it is the shape tool okay auto fix shapes or neat shapes okay so i can draw any shape and then it will convert into a proper shape okay so you can see the circle so you can make any shape okay so for example like this one okay and then if you want you can also change the color okay so you can see okay so this will help you uh, in making different kinds of uh, geometric shapes really helpful for students and professionals okay you can also lock your notes okay so you can see zoom lock okay so basically uh, it will lock your notes you can see it will not uh, move with one finger or if you want to write on it okay only you have to use two finger to move your page okay so basically it lock your page
okay uh, then we will move to these three dots which is called more options tool just select it and here we have different page template options so for example you select this page template we have different page template options so you can see okay so for example i select this one okay and then uh, we have the most important thing it also give you the pdf uh, page templates as well so this is the pay pdf page template so you can see there are different page templates okay so you can see now with the calendar the so different pdf page templates option also available uh, the next tool is related to page setting so page setting we have different background colors so you can see i change the colors okay so you can see the uh, i select the uh, black okay uh, then we have the scroll direction if you want to move it uh, your page like that or if you want to make it uh, i will show you pay if you want to make it uh, horizontal so uh, or you want to make it two page horizontal so you can see there are two pages now okay and if you move them it will take you to the next page okay okay guys so you can see over here the next uh, tool is called full screen option so you can use the full screen so you can see your tools will go on top and you have the full screen area so you can uh, write over here okay so it gives you full page view and you can use the tool from the top and then if you want to uh, go back to the normal just select this option and it will go back to the normal uh, and then the most important tool is the tags okay just select it okay and then you can create a new tag for this specific node okay so for example i give it a name of uh, electrocardiogram electro so i just give it a name of electro and then i save it okay and because now it is safe so if i go back and i go here on the search option i select it and here i simply write electro okay or okay so you can see i write here electro okay so now it is showing me the uh, pages with this tag so this is the first one okay or there is one more option if you select you can see over here their tags are over here as well so just select it and it will select it will show you the notes with this specific tag you just open and you can start working on it uh, here i want to mention one more thing you can also edit pdf in uh, your samsung notes any pdf file and so what you have to do uh, you see this pdf plus option it's called import pdf option uh, just select it and once you select it it will show you the pdf files that you have in your tablet so for example i have this pdf file i select it and i press done and this pdf file will open in front of me so you can see in the samsung notes okay so you can see and here you can use all your tools uh, for example if you want to use the highlighter tool for your uh, text okay so you can see over here okay so you can see and then you can write here as well okay and then you can erase it okay all the uh, information you can use you can also select this image you can put into uh, any other notes as well so this is really important you can also annotate uh, your pdf files the next tool is the attachment tool so if you select this uh, at attachment tool from here you see there are different options like image uh, camera scan so you can scan any document and you can put into your notes so for example i select this scanner option okay it will turn on your uh, camera and here you see you can have uh, you can select any document okay any paper okay so for example i select this one okay and then simply you can press done and it will uh, bring it into your notes okay so i just add it okay and then you can see and now it come into my notes and then i can resize it okay so you can see over here so i can change its position okay and then here if you want you can also write on it okay so for example if i want to write okay so i can write on it okay i can label it as well okay so you can see you can use this attachment option uh, the next one is the voice recording option so you can use this voice recording so once you select it it will start recording your voice basically this is really helpful uh, if you want to record uh, your lecture okay in the voice form so you can record it and in the meantime you can also write it okay 
so you can see so this will really helpful once you finish you just stop it and your recording will be saved automatically once you stop okay uh, the next one is audio file so you can also attach any audio file from your tablet into your notes uh, the next one is the drawing uh, tool so if you select the drawing tool it will open a new page where you can use different brushes okay so you can see you can see over here okay and then you can uh, put your drawing into your notes okay so you can see over here okay so you can see this one okay so you can see there are different brushes options available okay different type of pencils option available once you finish you press done okay and then it will go into your notes and then you can uh, use it okay uh, you can see you can resize it as well this is really amazing and then we have the text box okay so you can insert any text okay so you can see over here okay so i put it over here i change the color of the text okay so i will make it yellow okay and then you can see i can uh, change the text from here so you can see I can write it so you can use this text um, tool as well okay uh, now uh, the next tool is called the page sorter option which is really important so for example I select this page sorter option so on the left side it will show you all the pages of your notes okay so here you can directly go uh, to any part of your note for example I want to go to this part I select it and it will take me to that specific page okay so you can see over here okay and then if you want you can also add pages over here so it, it, this is the plus sign selected and then here you can add page okay so you can see you can make your notes and you can see it is visible over here as well so page sorter is really important you have other tools also available if you want to add it if you want to search your handwriting you can also search by handwriting okay and uh, then we have the reading mode option it will open in the reading mode okay uh, the next thing that i want to show you uh, is in the settings so i will go into the settings of the notes so here you can sync your notes uh, with the samsung cloud okay so it's really important you can sync your notes into other samsung devices so when uh, you do anything you can open the same samsung notes in the other samsung device as well okay and then we have other uh, settings over here okay so I enable some settings so you can see over here show link in notes I open the clipping options uh, then I will go back and then we have the uh, favorite notes option so you can make your notes favorite for example I work on this note I just select it like this and then more and then I select it to add to favorites so it will add over here in my favorite notes i just simply select it and then i can open it from here uh, guys we also have the locked notes option so you can lock your notes so you can see over here i locked some of my notes so basically what you have to do is go over here select any note okay and for example i select this note and then you have the lock option over here and if you want to unlock it what you have to do is go to your settings from here and here you have lock note unlock method just select it and it will show you the method by the fingerprints or by the password so you have different options over here to unlock your notes the next step is related to the keyboard so for example I go over here and I want to write something okay so for example I select this one so this is the keyboard option so you select it and here we have different keyboard tools option also available so for example like this one for the checkbox okay and then if you want to uh, make numbering okay okay and then we have the different um, tools related to the text for example bold if you want to write something in the bold form if you want to underline okay and then this one okay if you want to change the color the size okay so for example i want to make bigger okay so you can see you can make the bigger size and then we have different keyboard options also available uh, so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much